Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential problem, which is 9 to power x minus 9 to power x minus 1. This is equal to 36. What is the value of x? Now, solution from here, we have 9 to power x, subtract 9 to power x minus 1. This is in the form of a to power n minus m, which we can express as a to power n over a to the power m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 9 to the power x over 9. This is equal to 36. Since 9 to the power x is common here, so we factor out 9 to the power x. So this is the same thing as well. This is 1. We have 1 minus. This is the same thing as. Here is 1 over 9. We factor out 9 to the power x here. We have 1 minus 1 over 9. This is equal to 36. So here we have 9 to the power x into the parentheses. The LCM here, 1 is our whole number, so it's over 1. LCM is 9 here. So 9 divided by 1, this is 9 times 1. This is 9 minus 9 divided by 9. This is 1 times 1. This is 1. Close the bracket here. This is equal to 36. So we have 9 to power x times 9 minus 1. This is 8 over 9. This is equal to 36. The next step is to multiply both signs by 9 over 8 times 9 over 8. Let's simplify here. So that now here we have 9 to power x. This is equal to 36 times 9 over 8. We can simplify this. Uh, 36 divided by 4. This is 9. 8 divided by 4. This is 2. So 9 times 9. This is 81 over 2. To solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So we have rob 9 to power x. This is equal to rob 81 over 2. So rob 9 to power x, this is in the form of rob a to power n, which we can express as n rob a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then rob 9 to power x becomes x rob 9. This is equal to rob 81 over 2. The next step is to divide both signs by rog 9. Here we have rog 9. By simplifying here, we have that x is equal to, this is rog 81 over 2 divided by rog 9. And you find that rog 81 over 2, this is in the form of rog a divided by b, which can be expressed as rog a subtract rog b. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to rog 81 divided by rog 9 subtract rog 2 divided by rog 9. So the next step is that we can express 81 as 3 to the power 4 and we can express 9 as 3 to the power 2. Substituting this, we have x is equal to rog. This is 3 to the power 4 divided by rog 3 to the power 2 then subtract rog 2 divided by Rog 3 to the power 2. The next step is that rog 3 to the power 4 and rog 3 to the power 2. This is in the form of rog a to the power n, which you can express as n rog a. Now, applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to rog 3 to the power 4 becomes 4 rog 3 divided by rog 3 to power 2, which is 2 rog 3. Then subtract rog 2 here, divided by rog 3 to power 2, which you can express as 2 rog 3. So from here, let's simplify rog 3 and rog 3. Then we have 4 divided by 2 here. This is 2. 
and therefore we have that x is equal to minus rog 2 over 2 rog 3. The next step is that rog 2 over rog 3, this is in the form of rog A over rog B, which we can express as rog A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to 2 minus half rog 2 to base 3. Now, this is the value of x. This is the value of x. So the next step here is to verify. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So if you recall here, if you recall here, we have that 9 to power x minus 9 to power x minus 1. This should give us a value of 36. Let's substitute the value of x so that we have 9 to power 2 minus a half. This is rho 2 to base 3. Then subtract 9 to power. Here we have 2 minus a half rho 2 to base 3. Then subtract 1. This should give us a value of 36. Now from here, we can express 9 as 3 to power 2. So let's substitute this. We have 3 to power 2 multiplied by 2 minus a half rog 2 to base 3. Then subtract 9, which is 3 to power 2 multiplied by 2 minus a half. This is rog 2 to base 3. Subtract 1. Close the bracket. This should give us a value of 36. The next step here is we have 3 raised to power 2 times 2. This is 4 minus. Now here 2 and 2 simplifies. So we have rog 2 to base 3. Then subtract. Now here we have 3 raised to power 2. Into the parentheses, 2 minus 1. This is 1 minus half rog. 2 to base 3, this should give us a value of 36. The next step is that we have 3 to power 4 minus rog 2 to base 3, subtract 3 to power. Now here we have to multiply everything in the parentheses here by 2. So we have 2 times 1, this is 2. Then subtract 2 and 2 here simplifies, so subtract rog. 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. The next step is that 3 to power 4 minus rog 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to power n minus m, which we can express as a to power n, that is divided by a to power m. Let's apply this exponent property. So here we have 3 to power 4. 3 to power 4 divided by 3 raised to power of 2 to base 3. Then subtract 3 to power 2 here. We have 3 to power 2 divided by 3 raised to power of 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. The next step is that 3 to power 4, this is the same thing as 81 divided by 3 raised to power of 2 to base 3, then subtract 3 to power 2, this is 9, over 3 raised to power rog 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now this implies that 3 to power rog 2 to base 3, this is in the form of m to power rog a to base m, which we can express as a. Therefore, 3 to power of 2 to base 3, this is equal to 2. Let's substitute these two. So we have 81 over 2, subtract 9 over 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. So this implies here, the LCM here is 2. 
So that's 2 divided by 2 here is 1 times 81. So this is 81 minus 2 divided by 2 here is 1 times 9. This is 9. So this is equal to 81 minus 9. This is equal to 72 over 2. 72 divided by 2 here. This is equal to 36. So this implies that 36 is equal to 36. So that means that the left add side is equal to the right add side. So this implies that the value of x, the value of x which is 2 minus a half from 2 to base 3, actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.